The fittest winner is not just a journey of six contestants. It's a journey of six contestants and all of you, the online participants. We are doing this together. We are striving to be great together. Hey, Raw Stars. So we're here on the fittest winner couches getting ready to recap last week. We are at week four. And I took some pictures, just some quick little pictures of before and after. Because you know, like when you see yourself every day, sometimes you can't really appreciate the changes. Plus, you're in it. And it was great. It was great. The changes are great. But I want to know not only how you see the changes, but how you feel after four weeks of the fittest winter, getting up early, training, eating healthy. So let's get a recap on that. We'll start with you, Dewey. Yeah. Uh, well, the changes I've noticed in my body for sure. Um, they used to kind of go out and now they're just more slim. Yeah. And then my waist definitely. Um, I mentioned to you guys earlier that my bras um, aren't fitting the way that they did before, so I have to feel them tighter. So yeah, so that's great. Your arms, your waist, your back, your tummy. Who could ask for more? I'm one of those people who just, when you're in it, you can't see it. You can't see it at all. And I, um, last weekend, I actually put on a pair of pants that was just kind of on the verge of being too too tight for me to wear outside in front of people. <laughs> so, but I put them on and they just fit, they just fit right. Buttons went on like nothing. I actually had a little extra space in there. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, it's happening. Plain and simple, I just feel so strong. Yeah. I feel so strong and physically, yes, I see like the pounds just melting off. Like that picture today, I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> oh my face. Yeah. yeah. I aim to get to the size 12 mm -hmm. and I'm at a size 14. And yes. So I feel like four weeks in, halfway there is a good timing. And in every way I feel like I'm changing. I feel great. Um, I discussed before that I feel like my body's forming in a different way than I've ever seen it before. I'm definitely more stronger and it's just to me enough. I know it's on my shoes as well. I don't know if yeah, yeah, but um, my feet is getting smaller. <laughs> 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 I've noticed in my hips, or they used to be a lot wider, and now they've shrunk down. And I'm really excited. I think you've always seen the picture. Were you excited? Was, to the yeah, because even like I never even felt like this was like my biggest problem area. I was always really focused about my thighs mainly. So when I saw that, I was like, wow. Sometimes when we start getting compliments and everything, we go, I look good. <laughs> you know, I can afford to eat this, or I can afford to eat that, and so we have to be really, really careful about that. It takes three weeks for your body to break the habit, so right now, it's been four weeks, your body is just starting to take you seriously. Hey, Raw Stars, so we're here again on the couch, just getting ready to recap what happened in the Lifestyle Challenge. Remember, our challenge was to clean out our kitchen cabinets, get rid of all the junk, labels that you read that have all the preservatives and words that you can't understand, they are out. So we're gonna find out how the contestants did. And don't forget, all you OPs, my online participants, I love to hear how you did during the challenge because we're gonna announce a winner for you guys too, based on the pictures and comments that you submitted. Okay, so I wanna find out how you guys did on the challenge. We'll start with you, Ananya. We had to clean out those cabinets, what did you find in there that you know that you needed to get rid of? A lot of like unknown chemicals and like I had a package of Maggie noodles mm -hmm. which actually turned out to be like had like some sort of controversy going on. Um, mm -hmm. So I had to get rid of those. I had chocolate chip cookies like Chips Ahoy that I put all the way in the back of the cabinet. But I pulled those out and like decided to just throw them away and not save them for another day. I, I had a bit of an issue because I love baking things. Mm -hmm. There are, there are a lot of supplies that I don't use very often, but that I still wanted to hold on to. And I really had to sit down with myself and figure out, okay, you know what? This challenge is just for the next few weeks, but you know, I'm not completely changing my entire lifestyle where I know I'm never going to drink this stuff again or I'm never going to use these things again. Mm -hmm. The things that I accessed for this challenge, I kept them close at hand. Mm -hmm. And then I moved the things that I want to keep but I'm not going to be using for this challenge. I put them like way out of reach. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have necessarily any junk food. Um, I just had a box of cereal that was a chia mix but it had sugar in it. Mm -hmm. um, and another like a breakfast cereal that you serve hot but had um, sugar. Mm -hmm. So sugar is what I um, had a problem with, and so I just removed those. But mm -hmm. everything else was pretty much the same. Okay. It wasn't too many things here. Though. Okay, that's yeah. good to hear. Yeah. 
That's good to hear. Okay, so everybody cleaned out their cabinets and um, we had some nice pictures, but you know, it was really hard for me to say, okay, so who has the cleanest cabinet, right? So it wasn't just that that I based my decision on. It was on clean cabinets and just a clean line of thinking in general as far as organizing your life. And because of that, if you eat generally very, very healthy and you keep a clean cabinet, you get to be the fittest winner lifestyle challenge for today. And that goes to <laughs> Cheese! Yeah. Her picture looks great. We're so excited to see read your post and she's really active and she's, you know, she's in there. So I'm so excited to give her her gift. Every time that you guys have a win, whether it's in one of our lifestyle challenges, our fit challenges or the truth or dare games, those wins go all in towards your final star tally at the end, which helps us determine who is going to be the fittest winner. Online participants get a prize too. So without further ado, I need another drum roll. Congratulations to Karina Filion from Canada. So now it's time to announce this week's lifestyle challenge. And here's what it is. I want you to step out of your comfort zone. That's right, we are moving towards change and the best way to do that is to get a little uncomfortable. So this is a challenge. I want you to do something physical that makes you uncomfortable. That could be rock climbing, taking a salsa dancing class if you feel like you have two left feet or doing a Tiffany Roth video that you have not tried yet because you don't like burpees, step out of the ordinary and the usual and step into greatness. And guess what? I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I am bringing in a Roth star reinforcement. Okay, so you do not wanna miss the next episode of The Fitness Winner. I have this handsome specimen right here. We're gonna do an awesome workout, so stay tuned for that. But until then, he's gonna teach me a few moves. So, Brett, take it away. We're gonna do a little comment.